My name is Mr. Cadella and today I'm going to show you how to use text in your Google Slide animation. I'm going to come up here to Insert and I'm going to come down to Word Art. Now you could also do a text box. I'm going to type in my text right there. Press Enter. It'll pop up right here. You can also just do a text box. It kind of depends on exactly what type of text you would like. Now you can move this text around. I'm going to show you how to animate this. First thing I want to do is I want to change the color on it. So I'm going to come up to my paint bucket tool. You could do this for shapes. We've covered that in other videos. Come down to this green. I'm also going to change the outline color. I'm just going to make that transparent. I'm also going to change the font. An aerial font is sort of boring. We want to change it to maybe something a little bit more um, exciting and just a little bit different. Now I can use my arrow keys to kind of move it around a little bit. Now the way you can animate this is sort of like we did with our UFO earlier. I can copy this, come down onto my next slide, control V, paste it in, then I can move it down. Then I can keep going on to different slides and doing the same thing. But I want to show you something a little different. I'm going to come back up to slide number two, click on this, and I want to show you how to use the transparency tool. It's not this tool right here. I'm going to come down to custom, and you're going to see two slider bars. This slider bar makes it darker, and this one will make it more transparent. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more transparent, a little bit more see-through. Click OK. I'm going to press Control C, come to my next slide. Press Control V. I'm going to come back up to my Paint Bucket tool. Click on Custom again. I'm going to make it just a little bit more see-through on this third slide. Press OK. Control C. Next slide. Control V. Now I'm going to come right back up to this bucket tool. My color tool. Bring that slider down. I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm actually making this text fade out, and you can see it over here in the preview. I'm going to come back up to slide one, and you see it comes in and fades out as the UFO comes in. Now, one thing I should mention as well is that the more text you have, the more slides it should be on. Remember, these slides go by really fast, so if you put text on just one or two slides, it'll just flash up on the screen, which might be fine if you were doing, for, say, for example, like you had an explosion and you want the word boom for it to flash up just for a few slides might be good but if you have say for example a text that is like a paragraph long you probably want that on maybe forty slides just so it gives people time to read it and that's how you use the text tool